Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday and it's currently 1 12 p.m. Honey. Here. We are fresh out of a nap and a long, long morning or whatever felt like it has been a long morning and long mainly because I had to go back on care.com and find another nanny and a last minute one for tonight. I'm gonna tell you guys about it. So the primary nanny that I have, you know, she was great, she's great for a, a while now, okay? In the daytime, she is a braider. She told me that from the beginning, that was no issue because she assured me that she would be done by a certain time and I need her late in the afternoon anyway. So I need her from like 9.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. essentially. So, you know, she assured me that um, her days are sometimes long, but also by that time, she should be done every single day. So, you know, it was going great for a while. And then um, the last... Well, that's going to use the last um like two weeks this week would be the third week um you know sometimes i give her certain days and she was just like oh i'm not available here and there but also or first nanny who was also my friend she had always told me that you know if anything and you need me last minute you know i'm here just reach out to me but obviously last minute every single time yeah, she's not gonna be yeah. available and ironically, last week I was thinking about it. I'm like, I should get a secondary nanny that's not my friend because my friend and I do yeah. things together that would potentially be available sometimes when the primary nanny is not available. And I thought about it and it was just a thought yeah. in, my head, in my head and then I left it alone. And I feel like I have known myself for long enough now to know that when I get a random thought in my head, I should probably follow through with it because mm, it means something. And here we are um last night which is sunday night i sent her the days that i would have needed her for this week and she responded this morning saying she wouldn't have been available tonight and to um wednesday night and naturally that wouldn't be an issue because like i said i would reach out to my friend my friend isn't available on the two nights i'm just like uh this is not convenient which means that i would have to call out one of the days and her dad would probably have to call out one of the days and i'm like that's also not convenient right so my mind just told me to go on there and like, you know, see if I could find somebody else because I remember the experience was very easy and very smooth and I went on care.com the first time to find um, the primary nanny that we have right now. So I went on there and I went back through some of the old messages from the first job that I had posted, found a few people, but then once I reached out to one person regarding um, right now a last minute sitter for the two nights, um, I basically got somebody. Her and I went back and forth on the app for a while. I'm nervous because normally I would meet the people ahead of time. But, you know, they have reviews. They do um, background check on care and stuff like that. I told her to send me a picture of her state ID. She did. And um, we're going back and forth. I have a FaceTime set up for a little bit later on this afternoon where she is going to. We're going to FaceTime and kind of feel out the vibe, get comfortable. I told her to also come a little bit earlier than I would naturally leave, which means that I need to get dinner, bath time and everything ready a little bit earlier so I can see how she operates and like how she progresses and like allow me to get comfortable with her for like an hour or so before I have to leave. So that's where we're at. I'm currently changing my linen and um, I'm doing a little round of laundry. Mia does not have a lot of things to wash and I didn't have a lot of things to wash either. Um, naturally, maybe I would do about three or four loads. Today, I'm only doing two. Um, one with Mia's stuff, like some of my tops, tops, bras, stuff like that, my bottoms. I like to wash those together because you go places and you sit and whatever. And so the other rest of those will be one load for themselves too. But I'm also changing my sheets and I'm changing Mia's crib sheets and stuff like that. So that's where we're at right now. And I just wanted to pop in, say hi, and let you guys know where we're at. Hello, you guys. I hope everyone is healthy, safe, and well. Currently taking some food out of the microwave. But I realized that I didn't come back the other day and talk about the um, nanny that I ended up getting on care.com. Um, she didn't show up that night. She told me that she had a family emergency and, you know, she couldn't come. So I ended up having to call out that night but honestly sometimes i think things work out for the best in terms of like naturally i don't normally just 
hire a nanny and leave them with my baby without meeting them first and because it was last minute I wouldn't have gotten to meet her and so that was a little bit unsettling for me at the moment so her calling out ended up working out in my favor because I'm like I really would have loved to meet her first instead of just throwing her in with the baby But that's how that went. Now to the next day. My friend's birthday is coming up and we have planned a birthday trip as a collective. So I have a few things for gifts that I have planned. I've also already started a packing because it's gonna be a weekend away. Mia's gonna be there too because we have children. Um, but I also got a few other things in the mail like this 256 gig SD card. This is for something else. I think this is for one of my cameras or something of this sort. So I'll put this here so I remember where it's at. Yep. And then I got some things for the weekend. I got Jenga. You know, so we can play games. I think we get there on Saturday and we leave on Monday. Checkout is Monday. I got a birthday card. I got... What is this again? This says older, wiser, hotter, and you hang it. So cute. There, and then there's this card. I'm going to write in the card uh, in a second here, actually. And then I bought this decanter. But I have to show you guys. My friend works out. This is the part of the decanter that the thing sits in, and it has, like, two cups but i have to open it up to make sure it's not broken oh you put the parts together but the the canter in its entirety also they gave you they give you some old-fashioned you know what i need to buy a bottle of whiskey because it's some um recipes on here okay yeah we're gonna do that all of the parts to the decanter is inside here but the, the the canter is in the shape of a dumbbell. Can I show you? Let me put put y'all down into that you would hold and like lift at the gym. It's, it's so cute. And I think one time I had some Crown Royal whiskey. And baby, the Crown Royal whiskey took me out i bought some wrapping paper that should come soon so everything is in good order nothing is broken the cups are very cute it's two right i think it's two but um everything is nice and together nothing is broken so love that we'll just put things back how we got them mm -hmm. we'll keep it unbroken and we are going to wrap it. But it's such a fitting gift. And we'll put the Jenga. I don't want Mia to get into this to potentially break this. Oh, I have some lotion up here. I'm gonna open that up and use it too. Mia's dad had got that for me for, I'm talking about two separate things here. Anyway, so far that's what we've received out of all of the, I bought a different gift and I can't find it, hold on. I actually have to go search for the gift because I'm now realizing I don't know where the heck I put it and I need to find it. That was the first gift. Gosh. This weekend as well, Mia Zad is planning a little, uh, what is supposed to be a couple's games night, but um, we already had plans to go away for the weekend to my friends because... For these summer months and stuff, I'm really trying to do things with the baby. I've expressed that before. And so we have a few things lined up and planned for us to go and go do. So we have that in motion. And then um, that's how the rest of the weekend will potentially turn out. I have some gifts that I need to wrap today for one of my friends for the weekend and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, that's what it's looking like. So I'm going to change the linen, check on laundry. Oh, I wanted to check on laundry earlier. No, man, no thank you. Check on laundry and then um, wrap the gifts and stuff. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so as we can see, I'm done changing my linen. This is so crooked. Done changing my linen and I'm about to go ahead and wrap this. 
and a few other gifts that I have over there. So you guys are gonna watch.